now when we have this we want to go start maybe the just gonna clean up here a bit so we're gonna make um, an empty and call it uh, main menu uh, trees uh, tree rocks and we're gonna take this this and put it in there and this yeah so it's nice um, now we want to make camera move so you want it to like if we play a game we go over here we can push back we go back and so what we're gonna do we can make some points where the camera go to so we know one point gonna be here where we already are so we're gonna make a uh, create empty and it will take it out so now this game object have the camera position and we will make it purple so we can see that it's here and we're gonna make another one so we're gonna say this is character select position and then we're gonna make another one and this one will be main uh, menu position and I'm gonna change the column that one to orange and now we're gonna move it and gonna move it over here and maybe so it's kind of hard to tell how it will be when it's coming out so right now we just place it there and kind of hope for the best and we will take the main camera for that as well and we will turn it and then we want it to what I want to do is I want the camera to start inside the mountain and the reason why I want to do that is I want it to start inside and coming out and then I click play game and it goes over here and back here so it's like giving effect when we open the game um, so I want it maybe actually further inside so not there so I want it to have like this effect coming out here and then going over to the next point so let's put it there and now we have the two points we're gonna make a sheep sh uh, script folder so oh I make the <laughs> not gonna make a script we're gonna make a script folder so new folder call it scripts and just gonna remove that one and we go into the folder I'm gonna make one that will be like um, this one we will call menu camera it's a little bit laggy I don't know why um, menu camera motion so we start with this one and then we remove fill on so go into this one open visual studio And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make two public game objects and the first one gonna be main menu point and the second one gonna be game object character selection point. So these will be the points we just made and uh, we're gonna move the word start. Um, we're gonna make a private list so we're gonna contain uh, amounts of what of game objects so here we're gonna store our game objects and positions you 
to new list game objects yeah so there we go and now we can actually start so we're gonna say void awake oh. and we're gonna say positions oh. and when with because there's pearl it's more than one position positions and this one will be like gonna add a position and what position gonna we add I'm gonna add main menu point and so now we have stored this position in the list and in the void we're gonna call um, move to position like this but we need to make the function so we're gonna say public sorry void move to position um, there we go and for some reason I haven't spelled this the same way so I'm gonna take this and copy it away I need let me go back move to position so we need to have the same name and then I'm gonna write the code which will be um, if positions dot count is greater than zero then transform that position this is where we were in the code for moving uh, the position around for the camera vector tree dot blurb um, and then we're gonna say transform dot position dot oh sorry and go to positions um, zero so this is where it's gonna go take the where is this transform dot position and finally we're gonna take the time uh, the speed this will be time that delta time and there we go there will be there will first the position then we need one for the rotation and this one gonna be contrarian dot lerp and it's basically the same just with the rotation so now we're gonna take the rotation and the push rotation of our position and we're gonna hit rotation and we're gonna say one f times time that delta time yeah and actually we can start it here and save it and go into unity and rate it for compiling So I think we have it there. Go into the main camera, put it on, and take the main position here and the character position here. And then we're gonna try with play and see what's happening. What's going to happen is that it will go out, and as you can see, my uh, point is it wrong so what I'm gonna do is first I want it we're gonna change this with the UI in a six so, but, but right now I'm gonna remove this and put on the bottom holder and then I'm gonna take the menu position and look like it needed to be turned a bit and it needed to get a bit away so let's see what's going on now And need to turn it a bit to the right, can I, I can see, and maybe a little bit more away. Um, so I will turn it a bit to the right. I want to take it a bit down and a bit away. And let's see again. So when we open the game, it's gonna start like this. Oh, I want to maybe pivot a bit up again.
again. Yeah, I will let the screen come down, so I take it a little bit up. And I could actually want to turn it a bit this way. So this is just like tuning in and getting it right. Uh, you can decide how you want it. Um, and you can use a lot of time on this. So this is basically what we're going to do this one. And next one we're going to tell the camera to go from here to there when we click the button. Uh, so if we... Uh, in here we're going to tell it, if we click play button, it's going to remove this UI, open the new UI and go to the other area and open that. And so we're going to put on two functions in the buttons. Yeah. So if you like this video and you like the content, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.